Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Lucas and today, guys, welcome back to the video. I'm very glad you joined. Um, if you are new, I'm restarting Minecraft. Uh, you probably haven't seen me back on Saber's channel as well. Thank you so much, Saber, for, uh, you know, having me back on there as well. Guys, today, a few days ago, I uploaded my first video going back to Minecraft. And uh, that was some things that we, uh, we found out about me. First of all, I do not know Minecraft anymore at all. Um, and second of all, I probably should start learning that again because I was thinking, well, I kind of feel dumb and I feel like I would need to, you know, rediscover Minecraft a little bit, a little bit. So just find out how everything works again from the ground up. I know the very first time I ever played Minecraft, I played adventure mode and try or no, I played survival mode and I tried to break blocks by continuously spamming the right button instead of just holding it down which made it very hard to try and break blocks um so but i know a little bit more about minecraft still than that although there is a ton of new things that i really want to find out but also at the same time i want to do something interesting multiple people have been requesting to do a survival series which of course you know is fun and some people are asking for modded uh modded survival stuff and i'm like that's cool but i don't know minecraft in itself I don't, I don't want to jump myself into mods yet, but uh, of course, if you guys are interested in that, I am going to be seeing if I can explore that, but I wanted to do a survival series. But of course, we're not going to make a series immediately. If you guys just watch this one video and you're like, eh, no, that is boring, then we're not going to be doing it again. But if you do, then, you know, uh, we will, of course, be continuing this. If you do think this is interesting, don't forget to leave that like to show me that you actually like it, and uh, then I know if I should uh, continue this. Um... What we're going to be doing today, guys. I don't want to just play survival. Because survival, there's not enough stakes in it. It's too easy. Now, if you play survival, oh, you die, you respawn, whatever. I'm not going to do that. Today, guys, I'm going to start a survival series here in a completely new world. We're just going to be calling it survival. If I can spell it right. But from the three options that we have here, I'm not going to be doing survival. If we do survival... Bumped up to its hardest version, which will be harder because I don't know Minecraft anymore. We're going to be playing survival. So, bleh. We're going to be playing hardcore mode. Um, of course, I w this is going to be... Uh, bonus chest going to be off. I'm not going to have that. Of course, no cheats. Uh, generate structures, yes, because I think it would be interesting to have, you know, uh, multiple things to explore, which are normally only more dangerous. Uh, world type is going to just be default. And for the seed, if you guys are interested in trying to... Uh, make, you know, make your own series on this and see if you can do better than me in the same world. We're going to be using the L spike as the seed in 1.15.1. So everybody will be able to find the same world as I do. And if you keep pay very close attention, if I find diamonds somewhere, you're probably going to be finding them at the same place. Here we go. We're going to be jumping in right now, right here now. I know that uh, hard. I'm bad at survival. But hardcore is uh, harder because if I die, don't respawn. Food goes up a lot faster. We're starting in a taiga biome, although right next to water, with new mobs that I didn't know. Oh, great! There we go. We got a whole bunch of uh, things we got to do. Okay, so we got water. We got some. We got some seed. Ah! Ah! What was that? <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> what the? I don't know what these these berries are. Sweet berries. Okay, they're sweet berries. So are they food? Because they damage me. Are there more of that? Because if it's an easy source of food, I might be able to do something with that. First thing you gotta do in Minecraft, of course, is, uh, you know, destroy your own fist. You just gotta punch your tree. This is how... Oh, God. <laughs> I thought for one second that I was not going to be getting normal wood. I thought I was just going to be getting, like, nothing. Because, oh! Surprise, you can only get wood if you have an axe for some reason that, that I don't know I thought they made it harder for a bit. I kind of want to explore on the other hand This is kind of kind of a good area at the same time. Ooh berries. Can I plant these things? Oh Okay, I can only plant them. All right, so this is an easy form of crops. I'm actually going to think I'm I'm actually thinking of making that my You know starting source of food. I kind of want to find out what's in the area But on the, on the other hand, I also don't want to start exploring too far so maybe I should just go up in a tree and see if I can see something from up high. That's a lot of taiga forest all around. So I'm just going to be planting these. For, let's see, we're going to be just setting up here along the side of the uh, this lake over here. Ooh, pig. Is that a pig? 
I'm pretty sure that was a pig. It's midday already, almost, uh, so we're going to have to make sure we have some kind of, uh, you know, home or protection. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to dig into the side of this mountain, and we're first going to make ourselves a small wooden or a small dirt home. I'm not sure if wooden doors still hold zombies, because they don't in villager cities. And I'm kind of—I don't think they do in in, in in hardcore survival either. Oh, great! There goes, <laughs> there goes our entire shovel. Put this around. Have a furnace. I'm going to place it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to place it inside. I'm also going to make a door because I feel like I'm at least going to try. If it doesn't hold zombies, I'm just going to block off the entrances with. Oh, I actually got three doors. I'm a genius. Now there's two layers of protection whenever we're inside the house. There we go. Uh, okay, I'm going to look for a little bit more uh, sources of food. Uh, so how about... Yeah, you guys are going to be moving up here. All right, no. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, I don't... I'm not sure if I can push them. Biggie. Biggie, stop moving. No. 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 No, go back. Go back in the hole. I'm trying to capture you. Mm. I'm going to need seeds. Uh... There we go. Oh no, wait, that's, that's, never mind. That's chickens that are interested in seeds, not pigs. I forgot. Ooh. Sheep. Yeah, you stay there. You stay there. Yeah, you're too big to fit through a one by one block, right? I'm pretty sure. All right, so we got a sheep. Ah, what? All right, we managed to capture a sheep. A single, a single sheep. All right, there we go. We got a sheep. That's the first, that's start of a livestock, which is, you know, important if you want to, you know, be able to survive in Minecraft. The basic thing is I'm going to need shears to be able to, uh, if I have shears, I'm able to cut them, cut the sheep down for wool so I can sleep and just skip the night rather than actually having to go out and, you know, stay awake throughout the night, which is a big problem. Ooh, cave, here we go. Yeah, I was kind of looking for that because I need shears, which I need iron for. But we found coal, which is a good thing. And so I only just more coal in here. Uh, I kind of don't want to use normal coal for torch. I can just make charcoal, which will be better in that case. I do not remember where my house is. If I just use a lot of spruce logs and make charcoal, I can make a lot of torches, which could technically keep the you know surrounding area quite safe Let's see the the whole objective of today's video right now is just to see if we can survive one night <laughs> gotta be able to survive one night i'm going to be destroying all this i want to have at least six i want to have at least six you know what no i don't need six I, oh there we go six there we go i don't pff, i don't need six quickly built that up already and then i'm going to be hiding in my home like the scary cat I am. Ah! I hear footsteps. I don't like it. <laughs> I right, got a bit of charcoal here. Just pull a piece down that. Take another shovel, and we're going to make our little little hovel for now. Look a little, little bit nicer. There you go. Emptying out the floor. Let's make a little cobblestone staircase. There you go. Put that over there. At least I have charcoal now, so I can take the coal out and just use charcoal for that next time. Uh, so yeah, light up my house. I need food. So many sounds all around. I'm going to actually need... Ooh, coal. Nice. Uh, I'm actually going to need some food to be able to survive. Otherwise, I'm just going to start dying really quickly. Not regenerating any health, which will kill me. Which is not the goal of a hardcore survival. I'll be, I'll be making a house at one point. You know, one that looks nice and has defenses for... Uh, for for zombies and stuff. I just gotta make some snow golems. Can I make a chest? No, I don't have enough. Should I go outside? Safe enough for now. I kind of want to make a chest first. All right, chest. We got a single chest. We can just dump all our stuff in there, so we, I can just start storing. Even though it doesn't matter if I die, because I'm going to be, I'm not going to be respawning anyways. There you go. Take that. Put that back in there. Grab wood. Oh wait, I have wood in my inventory. Do I not have enough? You really burn through your first planks. I only got one left. There we go. Uh, I couldn't make a sword because I didn't have any sticks. There we go. Now we have sticks. Only need one stick for a sword. There we go. Let's make... 
Stone sword. There we go. I'm just going to go out explore a little bit, you know? It's nighttime and I don't have any food. But I'm like, ooh, it dropped something. Does it just automatically drop these things? Because that's nice. And there's no mobs around. Ah! Ah! Oh, it's the, <laughs> it's the stupid plants again. Oh, and I'm not regenerating that health. That's dangerous. Should not have done that. Ooh, there we go. Another bush. Oh. Bush don't work. Can I eat these? Oh, it only gives me one? That's not a lot. Hey! There's a creeper. There's a skeleton over there. Let's see if we can kill it. So we can get some bone meal. He doesn't see us yet. Oh! Ah! Ah! <laughs> That's how hard Minecraft is! Wow! I thought I was a lot better at PvP. These guys have a lot more health, don't they? That's how far I got! Huh. Okay. Interesting. Look at how many caverns there was around. Look at how much stuff we could still explore. But wasn't able to because I died so quick. There was so much that we missed because I died so fast. Guys, if you have some tips and tricks, leave it down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you thought this was interesting. Because I thought it was interesting to do this again. Maybe next time hop on with some friends, you know, do it like an SMP kind of thing. Uh, but I still think that hardcore is the way to go because it really shows that, you know, that, that it really shows how hard Minecraft really can be. Um, if you don't know what you're doing. But anyways, guys, this is the end of the video for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope that we are going to be able to do this again if you guys find it interesting enough. Um, thank you guys so much for coming by. And this the night is coming to an end. We did not survive the night. But anyways, thank you guys so much for coming out. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. And we will see each other in the next video. Goodbye!